In this video, I'd like to show you how to capture the animated shape in Risa 3D. This new feature here we can collect using either the moving loads or the deflected shape. I'm at first going to demonstrate the moving loads. We can see here in this model I have a moving load moving across the top of this structure. I've defined it based on the pattern here with joints. So the first joint here is N28, the second joint is N279, and the third joint is N454. And those joints here at the top of my model here, if I turn the joint labels on, are just moving here from the left uh, all the way across my screen here to the right. So I'm going to zoom back out and turn off those joints so you just don't get bothered by them. And I'm going to go ahead and go to plot options. Under plot options we can show different things in here and what first I want to do is show the loads and we see here animate moving loads or combination. So I'm going to click on that and I say OK. My animation of my moving loads shows up across my screen. I can do a lot of things to speed this up or slow it down as need be. I can pause it at a certain location. When I push pause the top here shows me the step at the location that my moving load is at. So I can go ahead and kind of click through that and move it manually or back uh, backwards here. The new feature we've added here is to be able to capture this moving load as it's moving across your screen. I can show that just by capturing it here using this button that looks like a camera button. If I click on that it will ask me to save a WMV file. This is going to save just to a default location where the model is saved. I'll go ahead and say save and it's saving it out to that as a movie. And then we can go just navigate to that location on my C Risa drive. If I open that up, I'll see in my model files, files location, I can see here this is this text export industrial finish. I open it up and this is exactly what we just saw on our screen. I can also do the same thing here using a deflected shape. So I'm going to close this animation shape and I'm going to close the moving load. And I'm going to see, I'm going to run the combination here. So we'll just run a single combination, solve the model. And we're looking at here, actually we're solving here this low combination 3. And it's running a combination of, of loads on the structure and on the tank. And what we'll do now is go to plot options and instead of loads, we'll go to the deflected shape. We can show the deflected shape here as 40 times magnification. We can also show it maybe larger than that if we need to. So let's go ahead and say maybe 100 times. And I'm going to animate this. So if I animate this shape, you'll see it will be building an animated shape for both the tank and the structure. And as it builds that shape, we're going to be able to do very similar things that we saw in the moving loads. So we'll be able to play around with that animation. I'm going to say OK and I pop out over here and it's going to allow me to increase here the speed of this animation if we want to. We can slow that animation down. Uh, I'll make it kind of nice and fast here. And then what we do is we can click on this camera button, click on that, do the same exact step. This will be here just for our deflected shape, so we'll type this as deflected. And in the same folder format, we can go find that in the model files. We see that's the deflected one, and we open that up, and we see a WMV showing exactly what we just saw here in the model. This is really useful to send to a client or work with your model to understand more information about how the model is deflecting.